absolutely love Mama B. Really a role model for so many women um, in the industry and also just paving the way forward for us. But it's time now. We're back in the kitchen. Happy, happy, washy, washy. And of course, if you are stuck in... Uh, indoors with more food in your cupboards than you expected. You can definitely lower your food waste if you repurpose some of those ingredients. Now, Chef Clem is going to show us what to do to make a delicious bread crumb topping with your stale bread and then how to take that surplus of fruit and turn it into a health-boosting smoothie. So, leftovers. I love using leftovers. Mm -hmm. I love, I think it's amazing just to repurpose it and make sure that it's fresh again and you can yeah. use it over and over again. And some dishes taste better the next day. We know this. Like cool course. I made that last week with lamb ribs. It was amazing. Curry as well. Curry yes. is better the next day. Stews the next, the next day. Something that works really well the next day is breadcrumbs. Okay. And we use it so often. What do we tell me about breadcrumbs? I was going to say, back in the day when I was growing up, my mom used to send me to Auntie Joni across the road. She's like, I'm going to ask Auntie Joni for um, old brood for the frikadels. Right? Auntie Joni, how's Auntie Joni doing today? I haven't seen Auntie Joni in okay. years, Auntie but Joni, Joni, if you're watching, you are watching us, listen. You're watching us? Hey. hey. Okay. So yes, I mean, fricadals, fish fric fricadals, you want the, the bread, I mean, to kind of like keep it moist, keep it delicious, add some texture to it. Mm -hmm. What happens with the bread is it actually, being a day old, it sucks up all the other flavors that you have like in a dish so well. We wouldn't do the same thing if it was fresh. With fresh. You know what I mean? So in you have got some olive oil, and then I'm gonna add my breadcrumbs. And I, you can use like any breadcrumbs. I mean like your normal sliced bread, you can use brown bread. Brown bread will give it that nice little bit of nuttiness because you got that like texture Dance, in there as well. Yeah. So whatever bread you have, don't throw it away, use it. So this is an amazing garlic breadcrumb that I use for um, pastas. Mm -hmm. Like mm. Parmesan cheese is really great on top of pasta, but I mean, if you don't have it, you're not gonna mission to go and find it. This adds a nice crunch to it. It's actually in, in there's a recipe for it called Old Ma um, Poor Man's Parmesan. Poor Man's Parmesan, yeah. I've never heard of it. So it works so well adding crunch to like salads and to, to um, even stews at the end. But pastas, absolutely, this with pasta is amazing. So you want the bread to suck up all that olive oil and then it's gonna start toasting. Mm. And you're gonna smell it before you see it. I will even say like a, a crouton kind of a vibe. Like absolutely. Like if you do have old bread, just to pop that into the like hot oil and then Bob's your uncle. Yeah. There's more of these at taste.co.za to get your hands on these amazing recipes. So I see you threw some garlic in there. Some garlic You are in. just in with the garlic today. You are one with the garlic. Oh, I'm loving garlic right now. Definitely, especially now a good uh, immune boosting uh, ingredient for our body. So garlic is life. So um, when I, I didn't go stockpiling as some people did before the lockdown. So I didn't go shopping before Uncle Cyril said, Play Betty Ace. Mm. So I actually only went to the shop the first time this weekend. And I was so like freaked out, like, is my Woolies gonna have all the fresh ingredients? Shout out to the Woolies at Canal Walk. The staff were amazing. Yeah. The stocks, like, they, it was, everything was there. So I got all my fresh ingredients, but now it's obviously I'm just cooking for myself and my fiance. So now I'm like, wow, I've got all these fresh ingredients. Am I gonna use it all? So that's what the whole idea about, like, how can I, like, repurpose? reuse, like get the most out of my ingredients. And like something like bread, this is amazing. Garlic, I don't know, I'm so obsessed with garlic. I think it's the winter season when you know you need like those extra immune that boosters. Extra, that extra boost. So what I did yesterday was I roasted two heads of garlic and I just put it in a jar with olive oil and like some extra rosemary. That roasted garlic smell is so insane. And, and I think I live in a building full of the most amazing cooks because from like seven o'clock in the morning, you smell like the most amazing food coming up like from the neighbors. I think it's your inspiration and also maybe they're visiting uh, www.taste.co.za yes. to get, like, get their hand on the recipe. So that's why they it smells amazing in your block of flat. But once uh, the lockdown is done, I'm really coming to visit. We need to, we need to absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah. I see you going on to the next one. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this keep on toasting. I've got a beautiful example at the end there, what it's supposed to look like. This is really great. In a jar, it'll actually last for like two weeks. Oh, wow. Which is really, really great. So, next one is, like I said, I've got so many like different fruits at home right now, fresh fruit. We spoke about freezing banana and your berries. Your berries. So we're actually gonna use it today. So we froze these last week. Mm. That's going in there. And then I've got some ginger, I'm gonna add the whole thing. Ginger's also great. If you have a lot of ginger, freeze it. Because you can grate it and then it most amazing flavor ever. I have ever. ginger in the fridge. I'm gonna actually put it in the freezer and then I'll just you pop it in as a smoothie or what else would you use? In my curries, in my stews, da -da 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 -da, everything. Because it lasts so long in the freezer. I, I probably have a ginger left over that I bought on sale last year in my freezer, no lie. And it's so good, it's the so good. The king of leftovers, yes. everybody. Okay, here's people gonna be like, what? And it actually works. I've got my frozen banana, my frozen berries in there. I've added a nachi to it, and I'm gonna add a nachi with. For, for why now? For why now, what's in the skin? 
Oh, all, so those, all, all those beautiful be oils. I do like this vitamin C booster during winter every morning. It's a whole chili and a whole nachi. With the skin on. With the skin on. I swear you get x-ray vision by the time you're finished with that smoothie. You feel, you feel alive. Okay, Pop that let's in. do this. So we're not gonna add any moisture because I think there's enough juice in the nachi, but we can add if we need to. That color again. Again, we, 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 we see with our eyes. Yeah. I love a vibrant smoothie. It's, it's, Sometimes you know you see the smoothies and you're like, oh no, honey, child, you gotta add something in. But I like the fact that it water. has. Are you gonna throw some water in? Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's gonna get their hands on this. www.taste.co.za to get your hands on this amazing smoothie. And of course, uh, what we had over there was our bread crumb topping. Much more of these. You ready for the noise? Yeah, yes. It's thick. It's a thick smoothie. Hey, hey, this you're gonna drink like this. Instead of with a straw, you're gonna actually eat the smoothie. Okay, Kukle hasn't had anything. You, you've had something, everyone's yes. had something. Kukle, I, I hear you. I'm gonna save you a drink, okay? Save All right. you a drink. I want some. Oh, it's nice, beautifully smoothed, like a little slushy. <laughs> Okay, so these recipes today are all about like budget and how to make your ingredients last longer. Today, during our Facebook Live, we're actually gonna make the ultimate lockdown recipe. Which is? Banana bread. Have you not made a banana bread just yet? I've not, I've not made a banana bread yet. People are going insane for banana bread. So today, we're gonna make the classic banana bread for the people, for the people. So please tune into Facebook Live. It's happening, you can, you'll probably get some to take home. I will take the entire bread home. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Clem. That looks amazing. Maybe you have any tricks up your sleeve that can help us. Well, we'd love to see how you give the ingredients in your cupboard a makeover, a zhush. Go onto our Facebook page and share your tips and tricks with us. And remember, if you want this recipe or any of our recipes, go on over to taste.co.za for some feel-good recipe inspiration. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs>